Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, in today's video we're going to talk about Nikola, we'll be taking a look at the latest news and the latest import data, as well as what to expect in the next couple of weeks, because I do believe that we could be in for a very nice bull run. So make sure to watch until the end and also make sure to smash that like button. So first of all let's take a look at the latest import data and yes we can actually track what Nikola is importing, and since my previous video Nikola have imported another 56 new cabins. As you can see back here at the end of July Nikola imported 36 cabins from Iberco Hispana, and in the beginning of August, Nikola imported another 20 new cabins. So that's 56 cabins since my previous video. And in my previous video, we saw that Nikola have imported like 150 cabins in the span of just two months. So that's 200 cabins now in three months. So I think Nikola will easily hit the target of delivering between 300 to 500 trucks by the end of 2022. Now let's go over some of the news that came out this week. And back here on August the 4th, we saw Nikola announcing the location for three new hydrogen dispensaries, which will be located in California. On August the 2nd, we saw Nikola getting the approval for the second proposal to increase the number of offer shares from 600 million shares to 800 million shares. It took quite a while, but we finally saw Nikola getting the number of votes they needed to pass this proposal. I do know that some people are against this increase, but it will make Nikola able to survive for quite a while, as they would have a much easier time to increase their cash position if they wanted to. Also in the beginning of the week on August the 1st, we saw Nikola agreeing to acquire Romeo Power, which is actually Nikola's battery pack supplier, so in the future Nikola will be able to manufacture their own battery packs in-house, which will save Nikola $350 million by 2026, which is just perfect, especially when they only paid $144 million for the company. Of course, we also had the announcement of the second quarter financial results, and here we saw a nice beat on both the revenues as well as on the EPS or earnings per share. We also got to know that Nikola have delivered 48 trucks in the second quarter, and that they're still aiming to deliver between 300 to 500 trucks for the full year of 2022, so that's great. That's basically all the news we saw this week from Nikola, quite a lot in my opinion, but it was all positive tip news and it seems like that everyone was satisfied as the stock price went up 33% this week. We did also see a new price target from Deutsche Bank or they just bumped the price target from $7 to $8. It could be better but we'll still take that. Before we look at the chart let's just take a look at the short interest because we are seeing something very interesting here. As you can see here we have a 90 day graph of the short interest and as you can currently see only 28.21% of the public float is sold short and 60 days ago or two months ago the short interest was sitting at nearly 37% and just a few weeks ago the short interest was sitting at nearly 35%. So it looks like that the short sellers are starting to cover the positions which is great and hopefully Nikola won't be under attack from the short sellers in the future. Now let's take a look at the chart to see what we could expect for the next couple of weeks. And yes, I do think we have a perfect setup here. As you can see here, Nikola has been trading this downturn channel since the end of 2020. And currently we are trading at the top of this channel. And we have done that in the past as well. But this time I think we're going to see a breakout. And if we're able to see a breakout, well then we could see a breakout out of a downtrend, which we've been trading in for nearly two years now, which could trigger a nice, nice bull run. And I think we could easily see Nikola coming all the way up to $11 share and possibly also see a breakout out of this resistance area up here and go all the way up to $15 a share where the next resistance area is at. So I think we could be in for a very very nice bull run for the next couple of weeks and also as you can see down here on the MACD we still have lots of bullish momentum and I do think we're going to see a breakout out of this downturn channel. So that's everything for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button. See you guys next time. Bye.